Hey everyone, it's Rachel from Sugar Maple Farmhouse and today I want to show you our TV entertainment space makeover. So the TV entertainment space has been on my to-do list for a long time. I actually bought the paint to do this makeover back in September. I finally got it done and I love the way it turned out. So I can't wait to show you guys. Let's get started. Originally, I had planned to strip this piece and leave it as the raw, unfinished wood. But once I started sanding, I found out that the molding along the top was molded plastic and not real wood. Not only that, but the sides of the piece were flimsy wood, probably more like a plywood. Sanding it just wasn't going to work, or at least it wasn't going to achieve my desired results. Instead, I decided to paint the piece. But when it came to painting, I also had a bit of another dilemma on my hands. I know that white is going out for everyone's homes. But the reason I wanted to remake this piece to begin with is that the dark black wood was just too much with our dark, almost black wood floors. Painting it a dark gray, a moody blue, or a dark khaki green just wasn't going to work for me. I didn't want the dark on dark in this space. It just felt too heavy for me. I also truly don't believe in things like colors being out of style for your home. You need to do what works for your home. And in my case, painting this piece white was what worked for us. I decided on using a paint by Ferro and Ball called Schoolhouse. It's a beautiful, creamy, white color, and I had been wanting to try out their paints for a while now. I needed to use a lot of coats on this piece, and I'm not sure if that was due to the paint itself or the piece. However, I feel like it's kind of due to me just jumping in and not using a primer versus using a primer and then painting it. Once the piece was painted, I decided to add new hardware knobs instead of painting the old ones. I wanted something that would go better with the frame I purchased for the TV. And honestly, after taking so long to complete this project, I didn't want another DIY. When it came to decorating, we plussed up the TV by adding the frame like I mentioned. And I'll fully review that for you in a different video. But so far, I'm really loving the way it looks. When it came to everything else, I kept it simple. I didn't want to add anything else to the wall because I didn't want the space to feel too cluttered. And after all, it is still a TV. When I'm watching it, I don't really want other photos on the wall competing with the screen for my attention. I also feel like it's more impactful this way when the TV's in art mode. To dress up the TV entertainment stand, I added a plant in a dark, moody planter. I also added a pair of golden ducks that I found at a vintage shop, it is spring after all, and a bowl of organic branch and moss spheres. I repeated the planner pattern with a larger planner on the floor next to a woven basket that hides my son's toys. On the other side, I added a large basket of extra pillows to balance out the space. Then I added a vintage globe that used to be at my grandmother's house and a stone bunny because again, it is spring. Altogether, that completes the look for my DIY TV entertainment space makeover. Just this one little project made our whole space feel so much more put together and I'm really happy with how everything looks now.
guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you love this video and I hope that you love the way that this project turned out. It can be amazing what just a little paint can do. I'll have a full blog post up at sugarmaplefarmhouse.com if you want more details and you can leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. Also, please remember to subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with everything we're doing here at Sugar Maple Farmhouse. Thanks so much, everyone.